All right, Shalom to the nation of Israel and to the hopeful elect. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahusha, Ba'ashim, Rechak, Wadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Ba'ashim means in the name. Yahusha is the true name of the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, who the word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right, I want to give double honors to my elders and my elder apostles of a great millstone, time and his truth, and on down. Peace and blessings to you, brothers, and to you, Akim, and that's the push in his truth. All right, it's the brother Barakim from the GMS branch out of Des Moines. I will come back at you with another video through the Holy Spirit. All right, now, as you can see, the title of this lesson, it says Rebirth. All right, and um, just want to go into, you know, how uh, how we are being born again, you know, as the scriptures mentioned in uh, St. John. You know, so uh, Lord's willing, this video is edifying, and I'm going to actually start off with that, um, that precept in uh, St. John chapter 3. And um, I'll start at the top. It says, there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. It says, the same came by Yahweh by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from Yahweh, for no man can do these, these miracles that thou doest except Yahweh be with him. Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of the Most High. It says, Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter into the second time into his mother's womb and be born? All right, so Nicodemus is asking uh, uh, Yahweh Shai uh, uh, how to be born again. You know, he's asking, he's inquiring. You know, trying to figure out what Yahweh Shah mean, meant when he said uh, uh, that he has to be born again. All right. And Yahweh Shah is going to uh, is going to break it down. It says. Uh, what was uh, verse four again? It says Nicodemus saith unto him, how can a man be born when he is when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Yahweh Shah said answered. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except the man be born of water and of the spirit. He cannot enter into the kingdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. And that's how we are uh, uh, being re reborn, man. OK, we're, we're being reborn through through what the uh, through the water and of the, and of the spirit. And they're both synonymous are, uh, with this word, man. You know, I actually grabbed this one real quick. This is uh, uh, St. John, chapter six and sixty three. It says it is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. All right. So just to show you, you know, what uh, what that spirit is, you know, it's these words. OK, both both uh, the water and the spirit, man. You know, they're both synonymous with these words, man. All right. And that's what that's what that's how we're being born again, you know, through the words, you know, but it's not only just by hearing these words it's, uh, it's actually by uh, applying these words, you know. Because what I believe that's in the book of James, you know, it says uh, it tells us not to be uh, just hearers of the word. You know, it talks about us being doers of the word, lest we lest we deceive our own selves, man. You know, so we so we have to be applying, you know, these words. That's how we're uh, uh, being renewed in the spirit of our minds. You know, that's how we're being born again. All right. So from there, let's jump over to St. John, chapter four. Cause I'm uh, gonna we'll grab a couple more precepts on you know uh, on the water. All right, so this is uh, Saint John chapter four, and um, I'll start at um, I'll start at verse eleven. It says, "The woman saith unto him, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, and the well is is deep. From whence?" From whence then hast thou that live in water? Art thou greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the well and drank thereof himself and his children and his cattle? Yahweh answered and said and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. But whoso drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. All right. And that made me uh, also think about, um, it's another one in uh, St. John as well. I believe it's, just give me a second. All right. Cause he said that the water, uh, that he had is going to, is going to be, uh, uh, 
it says the water that Yahweh Shah shall give uh, shall be a well of water springing up into everlasting life. All right. So this is uh, St. John chapter seven. In uh, verse 38. All right. So it says he that believeth on me as the scripture hath said out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. All right. So that that uh, that living water, you know, that well springing up is, is this word, man, you know, and it says, um, because even in this precept it says uh, out of his belly, you know, and uh, belly is going into your uh, your mind. All right. It's not actually talking about your stomach. All right. It's talking about your mind or right? your mind is going to be flowing with those river uh, uh, live, uh, rivers of living water. <laughs> All right. And uh, once again, you know, that's how we're being cleansed. OK, because wa wa water is a, 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 a is a clean cleansing agency, man. All right. Use water to, to to clean, man. All right. And that's what we're using the water to what? To clean our minds, man. All right. To renew our minds, man. But um, we can actually grab that in the book of uh, it's another one in St. John as well. St. John chapter uh, 17 and verse 19, it says, no, no, uh, seven and seventeen. It says, says sanctify, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Okay, and what it means to sanctify. All right, sanctify means to 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 cleanse. All right, to purify. All right, to be uh to be separate. You know, because when you go into the definition of purify, it means to make uh to be separate. All right, and and that's what we are, man. We're separate from the rest of the world. All right, because we're being cleansed. All right, through the uh through the washing of the word. Uh, I believe that's Ephesians. Uh, Ephesians. Uh, Ephesians five. Uh, what is it? Ephesians five and twenty six. Yep, it says that he may sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. Okay. So this is just another precept showing you how we're being cleansed, all right? How we're being born again, okay? Through through the uh, through the Spirit, all right? Which is the Word, all right? And by the water, all right? Which is also the Word, man, all right? Is and which is ultimately uh, 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 by by our Lord Yahweh Shai, man, you know? Because it says that He comes in the volume of the book, okay? It says how the Word was made flesh, you know? So this is actually, you know, just. Another uh, layer, you know, uh, uh, applying it to Yahweh Shai, man. You know, he's ultimately the word, man. You know, and and, and through him, we are, uh, 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 we're cleansed, man. You know, but um, let's see. Um, I'm going to stay in this uh, Ephesians. We're going to grab this in Ephesians chapter 4 in verse 21. It says, if so be that ye have heard of him. It says, if so be it be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Yahweh Shai, that ye put off con concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. OK, it says, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind and that ye put on the new man, which after the most high is created in righteousness and true holiness. OK. And that's what this, that's what this uh, uh, thing is all about, man. Just being renewed in your, uh, um, in your mind, man. You know, having a, a new uh, mentality, you know, becoming a new man, you know, becoming a new creature. OK. And the way that we do that is by once again, by applying these words. OK, because when applying these words, you know, uh, uh, you'll be successful, you know. Uh, for lack of better words, I believe that that's actually written. Um, it mentions how you have great success, you know, uh, by applying these words or uh, conforming to the words. Some, something along those lines. Actually, um, I could look it up real quick. I know it says something about having great success. Um, yep, it's in the book of uh, Joshua. <clears throat> so, is that Joshua? 
Come, let's go back. Let's go to um, Joshua 1 and 8 real quick. And I'm going to jump back. So this is uh, Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. It says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. All right, so applying these words, all right, gives us good success. All right, it makes us pros prosperous, man. You know, by applying uh, 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 this wisdom, man. You know, but that was uh, that was just the point on that. Um, from there, let's jump over to uh, First Peter. This first Peter chapter one and uh, verse 22, it says, seeing ye have purified your souls in obeying. It's like you. This is uh, first Peter one and 22. It says, seeing, seeing ye have purified your souls. OK, going back to uh, being sanctified. All right. Uh, both uh, sanctified and purified uh, are uh, synonymous. All right. They're synonyms. All right. But it says, seeing ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth. Through the spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren that ye uh, it says see that ye love one another with a pure heart fervent uh, fervently it says verse 23 just the point it says being born again not of corruptible seed but of incorruptible seed by the word of yahweh by shim yahushah which liveth and abideth forever okay and and that is how we're uh, uh being born again you know it's all it's all by the word you know, but not only just hearing these words, you know, we have to actually apply these words to actually become a new man. You know, it starts by the application. You know, that's how you actually become a new man. OK, so, you know, uh, with that being said, Lord's willing, this video is edifying. I want to give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rekha All right, double honor to my elders and my elder apostles of Great Millstone, telling this truth and on down. Peace and blessings to you, brothers, and to you. I can not to push this truth. All right, until next time, Shalom.